I forgot to show you guys my outfit of the day. Uh, let me let me just let me just set this camera up so, so I can this show is you. My outfit. Oh my god, the phone can't calm down, but it's just a dress. Perfect for church. That's my outfit of the day. So let's go. The rest is history. And where is he now? <laughs> He's here. Yeah. Uh, I just baptized his children. So his children keep wondering, how are you his spiritual now? But he baptizes your children. The kingdom of God is complex. So I have found this place to be here. So I've been here since 89. Um, although I have nine years when I was away, Thank you for visiting. Thank you. Welcome from Reading. Thank you. Welcome from uh, Cambodia land. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, welcome to for bringing your wonderful children. Thank you. Let me pray that I can let you go. Thank Come you. again and again and again. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So we are the news. She doesn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> the piano room. There used to be a sand pit here, eh? where we used to play a sand pit. It's like a So we are doing some shopping at Quick Mart. Like and baby, they kind of pepper with you and me in the I mean, this is a 
Kenyan. Is there any specific type of paper they use? Okay, this is what I see mostly in Ghana, but it looks a little bit different. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you usually look like this in Ghana perfect. So, Scotch paper. some ingredients for jello fries. So guys, I have a present for True. I came bearing gifts. Yeah, it's a whole gift bag. True, true. Yeah. I have something for you. I came bearing gifts. Oh, wow. From Aurelia's kitchen. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Something for you. And you know, actually, wanted to. This is like Aurelia's salt. Yes. I wanted to tell you, like, I want to try this salt. There they are. Oh, this so is so you cool. You just use them, then leave a review or something. Oh. Let's see what she's given us. <laughs> um. What is this? Is that thing putting on the cloth? Yes, it's a button pin. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Next is salt. Salt. Oh, pili pili. You actually make this? Yes. This is you incredible. This. Um, so this salt has like pili pili. Like you can put this in mango or it's for cooking. You can use it either. You can put it uh on already made food mm -hmm. or while cooking. Unekanani. So it's made of pili pili, lime, uh, coriander, mm. yeah, and salt. So it's basically salt. So don't forget it's salt. Ah, don't okay. put a lot. But the instructions are also there. This is uh, That's one is. herbs and spices. Another type of salt. Yes. Herbs and spices. You put this in food too? Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's orange, rosemary. Orange salt. Yes. You flavor. put this in food? Yeah. Would <laughs> so give you the flavor? Yeah, what would you easy. what would you cook with to put this? Anything. Potatoes. Maybe you want fried potatoes, oh, baked wow. potatoes. It's actually like Meat. orange, almost orange in color. Yeah. That's interesting. We can't wait to try. So you can use that instead of uh spices because mm -hmm. they already have uh spices in them. So you just uh season your food, cook it up or season your cooked food. Okay. okay Here we have this. Here we have uh, a beetroot achari. It's made from beetroot. Yeah, that's oh shit! Yeah. I thought it's like the mango mango. No, it's this beetroot. is so cool. Um, what about this other one? And that's carrots. Carrot achari. Really? <laughs> Yo, yeah. like you're showing me things I've never seen. This is so interesting, and oh, I love that they are healthy. You know, <laughs> yeah. this is the kind of snack that you, when you take, you're actually taking something healthy. Mm -hmm. So this is so cool. So if guys are watching on my channel and they wanna get themselves all these salts. And this healthy achari, how, how do they get uh, in touch? You can order from our website. We'll leave the link somewhere. Or uh, if you don't want to get into all that website hassle, you can just DM us on Instagram. Our handle is Aurelia's Kitchen 254 on all social media platforms. Yes, and I'm going to put the link in the description box. Yeah. So order, order, order. Are they affordable? Yes, they're very, very, very affordable. You have to try this. As in, you can't live your whole life eating one kind of salt. This white salt that you get from the supermarket since you're born. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, try, try, try variety, you know. Um, mm -hmm. What do they say? Add spice in your life. Mm -hmm. So, buy the spices. 
and then uh drop a comment let us know what you think yeah so i'm so excited i'm gonna be you know trying different meals with these types of salt so this is so cool thank you so much you're welcome i appreciate it you're welcome i hope you enjoy i'm sure you will i know i will let me just start with that one right now because we Eh, from its ziplock. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so you can eat and lock it up when you just want oh, to save nice. it up. Yeah. Gorilla's kitchen, baby. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> You have to buy. Hey guys, so we are back home and Trudy is preparing us some West African meal. Mm -hmm. oh, so the... <laughs> What's on the jollof. menu? I'm making jollof rice, you know. These hey. guys, they always ask me, oh, how is West African food? How? I'm like, you don't have to ask me anymore. I want you to taste it. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that because now I am a Ghanaian wife. Sour. And you already know that I can cook Ghanaian meals. <laughs> so I'm going to start with jollof. I'm going to do, you know, slowly, slowly, slowly. Next time, I'm making them fufu. Mm -hmm. I'm making them fufu. <laughs> hey. So what types of uh, West African meals? Can you make? I think there are so many. Mm -hmm. I can make jollof rice. I can make this thing. They cook their cabbage so differently. Eh. They? Eh, they put meat, kondani, it's crazy. Uh, kontomre, that's my favorite. Uh -huh. What's that? Hey, those leaves. I keep confusing. Are they cassava leaves? Pumpkin. Plantain leaves? I forget now. Sure, not pumpkin. Yeah, because they don't have skuma in Ghana. So, like. Oh. They, oh, and we forgot mm. to bring you school. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have to come for them. I, Connie, yes, you yes, will yes, never yes. come. I'll come. I'll come for the skooma. Mm -hmm. So, we don't have skooma in Ghana. This I'm sorry, I forgot the name. But Ghanaians know, so drop a comment. You said it's what? Oh. Contomre. Contomre. Yeah, that's, that's what they. Oh my god, it's so good. It is so good. It's like Kenya Jimboga. Yeah, something like that. Oh, okay. Mm. Ah, they cook it so well. Oh, it is. And then there's different ways of cooking it. Where there's a way you can boil it and then you mash it. And then it's like you add garlic, you mash it, you add onions, you mash it, you add tomatoes, you I'll just cook. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, I feel like now my body is craving Ghanaian food. Staying in Kenya for this. It's been how many weeks? Two. Two. Oh, it's only been two, two weeks. weeks. Yeah. I to say for this one month, it's making me go crazy. It's only been two weeks. So let's get started. Wait. I'm still having questions. Do um, they have any potato dishes? Potato? You know what? Potatoes are not very common in Ghana. Eh? Mm. Especially this potato for chipo. Yeah. You see how in Kenya you see chips around? Mm -hmm. In Ghana? Mm. None. Maybe KFC or these restaurants. At the in the street, someone making chips. Nah. So their starches are mainly banana, rice, uh, mm. corn. Cassava. Cassava. Mm -hmm. ah. Even corn is not that common. But Yams. Cassava, plantain are the most common. Ah, yeah. hmm, that's good to know. So, uh, what are the ingredients for what you're making? Pepe is a must. Like, <laughs> if you don't have pepe, you're joking. This is chicken, chicken. tomatoes, garlic, ginger. We're also going to add some onions. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm so excited. And then, uh, so you blend this up. The process is blending the uh -huh. garlic, ginger together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the pepe, of course. And the chicken, how do you cook the chicken? You fry the chicken first. Uh -huh. You add some spices. Uh -huh. You put in some salt. <laughs> hey, put in some salt. Oh. <laughs> what spices do you add here? They put maggi when we're in Ghana, in ah. another spice that we don't have here. So I'm just gonna put the Kenyan spices. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a Ghanaian meal, okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So hey, me, I can't some wait. Right, and then you know it's a. I'm excited. I don't want to talk too much. I want you to see. See for yourself. And here we have some plantain. So these are not regular bananas, if you think they are. These are plantains. So I can't wait to taste your food. I cannot wait. To... You know, you can either blend the tomato onions over here. I'm going to decide what you decide to do. Onions, peke. Hmm? Yeah, onions, eh? Yeah. Onions na sea spice, na salt. No zinge and I think blending Does will give blend? more flavor. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so you blend it. Wow. 
guys i'm really feeling the onion someone told me I, i've ever seen that thing where you know you can cut onions without them affecting your eyes i don't know how you chop them in something oh get that thing because i never cut onions in my eyes you see chicken or whatever you know there's also there's also something i think it's a myth though i've never tried it at right. when you chew gum while cutting onion you don't cry is that true guys when i really don't gum, know if it's when true you're onions, you don't, i have to try that <laughs> i have a suit in the house the suit counter no gum down. you have to be chewing Next something time i'll try that guys is that true has it worked for you drop a comment let me know so as you can see we have our spices here not our spices but our ingredients i've chopped up some onion garlic tomato ginger and some pepper all you're gonna do now is put them in the blender in the blender way so that's it okay this i'm, I'm scared this pepper seems like a lot but <laughs> this is ghana food dough um, if it doesn't have enough pepper then it's not ghana food dough Ghanaians, tell them tell them <laughs> the chicken wow it's the aroma for me i think the chicken is ready you can see the water has really gone down and we would even have a lot of water to use a lot of broth so yeah take this out and then next step is uh frying the chicken in oil oh no you know what instead of frying on this pan i think we better fry on the on the on the on the on the one we are going to use to make the jollof okay because this is very small we want to make a lot of jollof rice so uh is that golden brown yeah. it's more than golden it's more than golden but it's good but this is how they fry their chicken in Ghana. Yeah. so when they are making uh their chicken and they deep fry this is how they do it so now we start cooking the jollof. I'm gonna put my onions in the fire. One thing that is important to remember is that we had already put salt in the food, so you don't have to add salt, and if you do, you don't add too much. Just enough. I'm gonna let it stay on fire for a minute, and then I'm gonna add um, tomato paste. Let it, you know, cook for about three minutes before I add this, and then you're gonna put the rice. You guys always complain, you know, in the comment section, and I don't, um, I don't do what. Can you hear me? I was doing this over there, and we had, I had put it on so that it can help with the reducing the amount of smoke in the house. So I was saying, guys always complain when I don't wash rice in my videos, and then guys are always arguing in the comment section, like. Can't believe she didn't wash the rice. Others are like, yes, we don't wash rice. You know, it's a whole topic by itself. <laughs> but I've started washing my rice again. So, yeah, I'm going to wash the rice. After I saw these crazy stories of how people step on rice before they pack them, it just scared me. Like, they step on them with bare feet what? and then they pack them. And then me over here, I just put my, I take it, put it on fire straight. It scared me. So I'd rather just wash it. Yeah. If it wasn't for that, I'd still not be washing rice. So you use both the blended tomatoes and the tomato paste? Yes, I use both the okay. blended tomato and the tomato paste. So now, I'm going to add my tomato paste. Okay. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. This is how they do it in Ghana. Today I'm bringing Ghana to you. I'm not, I'm, I haven't taken you to Ghana, but I've brought Ghana to you. And you better get used to this food, though, because when you come to Ghana, you know this is the kind of food you'll be eating. That Ghana will show you things. You wait. I don't want to talk too much. You wait. You come and see for yourself with your own eyes. You have brought Ghana home. I'm bringing Ghana home today. Yeah. So now we add this. Ooh, look at that, that looks so good. I'm telling you guys, wow. This reminds this me is... of pilau. Ah, okay. Let's see the difference. Only thing I didn't see here is cumin. You don't use cumin for this recipe? 
Mm, you can add cumin. You actually have cumin here. Oh. There's also a leaf that some people add to it, but I forgot to get it. Oh, look at that thickness. Oh my gosh, can you imagine now rice being added to this? It's gonna look so good. It's gonna taste even better. So we leave it on fire for a while, let it cook, and then you're gonna come back to it. Thank you for the cooking. Oh, it really doesn't wash right. There you go now. You're back to washing. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to be adding my broth. It's not a lot. This is just what you made. But it's a lot. As in, it's everything. It's going to add a lot of flavor to the food. So we add it. Uh, yeah, we add it. And then, um, I put some... Now it's time for our rice to go in. We put our rice. Then, once you put your rice, next step, you're supposed to mix it really, really well. this look at that so our rice is gonna have a really beautiful color Down. So Konini. Because you just don't pick up. Really? Two days she's really looking at your phone. Because Nezapi Neza Pig already are two weeks. Ay, true, many on air. Ay, two weeks. Really true. Many days and they are poor many on air. Uh uh. Nami vile nashikanga simu zako every time. Even I was in the US, I was even calling you. I could take you to. Let me teach them a lesson. Let me teach them a lesson. Next time, what a pick. Like you know, just time your time is here on. Nani kio offline hiring? Eh, but even kio ne kiring. Guys, I tested this, um, and I'm telling you, the chili is too much. I feel like. This chili in Kenya is hotter than Ghana chili. I don't know, but it's a lot. I don't know how my family would manage, but this is Ghana for you. I'm preparing them so by the time they start coming to Ghana, they won't get the culture shock. They'll have experience. So I want to put foil on the on the rice so it will cook with the foil. to the small fire so it can take its time and then we fry the plantain <laughs> guys now this is the time some of us have really been waiting for time to make the plantain our jollof is on fire our chicken is fried now let's make the plantain guys drop a comment i'm sorry i forgot what do you say is the difference between banana and plantain some say this one is longer others say the hey i don't know but they're the small small size plantain yeah i've ever seen mm -hmm. but i've never like touched all i only see it from far yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and in kenya you know if you want to cook banana we cook the green banana exactly if you want to eat ripe banana we always eat bananas we right. like beans. eat it mm -hmm. so this one is like it looks it's different it's confusing it's a very yeah <laughs> guys you do you get when you come to ghana and i'm asking all these questions you see it's confusing even kenyans it's not like you know it's, this is not something we do in Kenya a lot. So, yeah. Mm. Okay, guys. So, here is the plantain. Now, I'm going to sprinkle some salt just to taste. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put too much. That's right. This looks so good. I'm so excited. I think these guys are going to love it. So, yeah. Give it a few minutes. Mm. 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 Mm.
please try the plantain in let me know what you think it's, it's some ripe huh? it's ripe ripe, it's ripe but not ripe <laughs> yeah, yeah, something, like that. <laughs> something in between <laughs> hmm. but still sweet but still sweet yeah but not as sweet as the the original banana. kenyan banana <laughs> banana mm -hmm. yeah but somehow it's like a banana that's not red it, yeah that's not red it's not deep right then yeah in kiswahili or in mombasa mm -hmm. we call it mkono wa tembo mkono wa tembo okay love that swahili do you have it in mombasa yes but it How mostly it? grows in uh, TZ Tanzania. Ah, okay. So wanaitanga ndizi ya mkono wa tembo. Mm. Yeah, and mostly they use it for dessert. Just as I was telling you too, uh they cook it in coconut milk, then add some uh, cardamom mm -hmm. and sugar. We then they have it that. as dessert. We have to try that next time you guys. What yeah. do you say? We have to. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. And we're going to do it on camera. Yep. Looks really nice. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed. So when you see in Ghana videos, they usually now, after they usually do this, you see how to make Ghana jollof rice, and then now they come and throw the chicken like this on top when it's ready. And now you can serve it. Okay. this now let's put some plantain to the side it looks good this one is mild compared to what they have to eat yeah you you get you just come you'll see for yourself at least i tried giving you a face Ah, you don't need a hot. Ah, you too. Don't turn my off. Is it hot? It is actually, but it's manageable. Okay. I think because I love chili myself. Ah, okay. But it is hot. Wow. Now you guys have a taste of what you get when you come to Ghana. It's gonna be hot, like this, even hotter. All their food, your eyes will be, you know, running, your nose, everything with this. At least you have a taste. <laughs> what did you say? With the suffer. <laughs> so good. Ooh. It's sweet. Yeah, it's so good. good, yeah. It will be too much. So much. But it's so yummy. It's actually very delicious.